Morning, Trainiacs. So, as I've been training recently, I've bounced around a little bit between the Wahoo Ticker, the Wahoo Ticker Fit that goes on the armband, and then, in a pinch, when I forget either one of these, I've used the heart rate monitor on my Garmin 935, and I've noticed some very serious discrepancies. That, combined with the fact that everyone's always asking, what heart rate monitor do you use? I am about to do a two hour ride followed by a 24 minute run and I'm going to track my heart rate with each of these for all of them and show you the differences that I've been noticing. Hopefully there are differences, otherwise I'm gonna have to scrap this video idea. Let's do it. took a lot of fiddling, so much fiddling to get that and this communicating and this communicating with the bike computer. I forgot to take GoPro fancy montage footage of the run, but I swear I did it, I swear. I think once I uh, dive into the data, I think we've got some interesting stuff, even just before I started running, I was looking at all the phones and the watch and they were all reading differently. Same heart. So, all right, Trainiacs, let's dive into some data comparing the Wahoo Ticker chest heart rate monitor with the Wahoo Ticker Fit. And this is what people put right there, apparently with the Garmin Wrist HR. That, that flashing green light in there, that, yeah. That monitors your heart rate all day. Now, I recognize that anyone that has done any sort of looking into heart rate monitor devices knows that the chest heart rate strap is going to be the most reliable. And then these two are kinda in behind, but I wanna show you how and why, so that if you do end up just being able to use this, or this, or that, what you're getting yourself in for. All right, so what I've done here is I've overlaid the three heart rate files from the bike. So what I've got is the Garmin Wrist HR in green, because it flashes green. I have the Wahoo Ticker Chest heart rate monitor in blue, because blue. And then I have the ticker fit in red. Don't really have any reason for it to be red. What you can see looking at this is that they're largely the same. So we'll just go through the entire two hour bike ride and they're basically the same. What I want to do here is hide one of them and show you the differences, the little nuances between them. So let's just say Right off the bat, a chest heart rate monitor is going to be your best bet. This is the gold standard. So I wanna zoom in here and compare the Wahoo chest heart rate monitor with the Garmin. And what you can see is that they're largely the same, but I've tried to line them up as much as I possibly can. And the thing that you're gonna notice that I wanna point out is that there are points where the Garmin ends up being higher. So here at the start of the ride, it shows as if it's higher. And you might think, well, Taryn, you didn't quite line these up very well. Well, if you move forward, they're basically matched up along here, a little bit higher, but then we get to a point that it's lower. We get to a point that it's bang on, it's higher again here. But then we get to a point here where it's lower. Another situation where it's significantly lower right here. And that's kind of what you'll find 
in the best case scenario, what I was doing during this ride is I was actually looking down at the Wahoo bike computer, which was paired to the chest strap. And then I was looking at my watch and I was seeing that they were largely in line with each other, give or take about a beat per minute, as long as you aren't jostling around. So in the case of a bike, the wrist heart rate monitor was basically accurate to within a beat or two. So totally doable for the case of a bike workout. Now let's compare the ticker to the chest strap by hiding the green and bringing in the red. Now what you see in this case is it's even a little bit more variable. So there are instances where the ticker is actually a little bit higher. There's instances where it's a little bit lower. Could probably line them up just a tad better. But the big thing that I found with the ticker is that if you look into this, you'll see that there's just more minute little spikes up and down with the chest, the blue lines. There's just, there's more precise ups and downs. And what I found with the ticker fit is that it's just smoothed out a lot more. So while it is accurate in a sense, it's not nearly as precise. And if you want the exact heart rate data, you're gonna have to go with a chest strap. But that said, like wrist, ticker fit, both adequate. Let's talk about the run, however. That's where things change a fair bit. So we're gonna get into the run data, but what I found between the Wahoo chest strap and the Wahoo ticker is regardless of whether it's bike or run, it's largely the same. This is going to be very precise. This is gonna be very close, but it's going to be smoothed out a little bit more and not nearly as down to the second accurate. I think there's, there's probably just more averaging instead of like maybe a one second average, this might be a three second average. I don't really know if that's the case. Why this even exists is because Wahoo was hearing feedback that some people get really bad chafing with a chest strap. So they came up with this, which just sits on the forearm like that. So for the purpose of biking, I found it to be totally manageable. For the purpose of running, same sort of thing. Not the case when we compare chest strap to wrist strap, particularly with running. Now, unfortunately, this didn't even save when I went for that run, so we're gonna have to kinda fudge it a little bit, but we don't have to fudge it a lot. What I'm showing you here is two different runs, two separate weeks, that were the exact same run. My target heart rate was to be in between 130 and 135 beats a minute, and the red line, is when I was just using the watch here. The blue line is when I was using the chest strap. And what you can see is that the chest strap starts off, gets up to close to into that 125s, that 130s, and it is fairly precise. We're seeing small little dips and things like that. But what I've found with the beats per minute on the watch is that it very quickly actually loses an accurate beats per minute and gets to a point that we had here that I was running so easy. I was running like six minute kilometers and it was still reading 156 beats a minute. And I was able to breathe, I was able to talk. I know I wasn't at 156 beats a minute because I could just feel it. That's how off this was. Don't believe me? Check this out. What I'll show just over here is a clip from me running on the treadmill earlier today where on my watch, I was getting my heart rate from the watch, but on Zwift, I was getting my heart rate from the chest strap. And you can see that it was as much as at times about 20 beats per minute difference. So that's kind of what I'm finding with the watch is that as long as you're on the bike, fairly accurate. If you are running, however, not accurate whatsoever. So what does all this mean? Well, obviously this shouldn't be really a spoiler alert. The Wahoo ticker chest heart rate monitor, and I'll open this up to Garmin heart rate monitors with a chest strap and particularly polar 
chest strap heart rate monitors, if you want a really precise monitor, apparently those are like the gold standard that a lot of scientists use. This is what you're going to want. If you find that they chafe you, this is going to be more accurate for the run and the bike. It's actually going to get you some data that you can potentially use. If you are strapped for cash and all you can afford is a wrist heart rate monitor, it's gonna be fine for the bike, it's gonna be fine for your overnight resting heart rate, things that aren't very jostling around, but once you get to the run, it's gonna let you down time and time again. So be weary of it. So that's it, Trainiacs. Go out and do your heart rate training. If you aren't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button below if you are subscribed. Tell me in the comments below what your heart rate monitoring device is. I'm interested to hear. I like Wahoo, just for the standpoint that like it's not all black. I like their branding, that's all. Later. <laughs>